Welcome in my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's instructional video coming to you from Revision Training LLC. My name is Tyler Marin. I'm owner of Revision Training. I'm also a personal trainer, three-time Paralympic athlete, motivational speaker, and overall fitness enthusiast. Today we're talking about an exercise that is going to be beneficial for anybody watching. We're talking, of course, about battle ropes. So this is something that is not very familiar to most people. Maybe it's a trendy term you've heard about. It's definitely something that I wanna to introduce to you guys because if you're looking for a very efficient, very compact, full body exercise, something that's really gonna help bring you to the next level, battle ropes are gonna be for you. So stick with me. I'm gonna to talk to you today about the structure, the benefits, some of the techniques, and be sure to subscribe to the channel, like, comment on this video, because in the future, I'm gonna be putting out some more workouts specifically for battle ropes. So I think you guys are really gonna like what you're gonna find. So stay with me, make sure you subscribe, and let's talk today about what are battle ropes, why are they so cool, and what are we gonna do with them? So let's first talk about the benefits, okay? Battle ropes are gonna be low impact for your body perfect benefit. We like that, right? We want exercises that are tough on our muscles, easy on the joints. So we're going to have low impact exercises. They're also going to challenge the entire body, no matter what variation you do. And one thing you'll find with the battle ropes, just like any good exercise equipment, there's just almost limitless variations that you can do with the battle ropes. So tons and tons of exercises, but every single one of them is going to challenge your entire body. Another benefit, we're gonna build up a lot of core strength and stamina all at the same time. So if you're an athlete or if you're an average fitness enthusiast, you're just looking to be healthier, you're gonna double up a lot of your activities with battle ropes. You're gonna develop strength, you're gonna develop balance, you're gonna develop coordination all at the same time. So the benefits of battle ropes just kinda of go on and on. There's a lot of really great things that we can say about these. Last thing I'll mention is that whether you are a beginner or a pro athlete, battle ropes can find a place in your fitness routine. So don't think you're exempt from them. There are some contraindications. There's a few folks that maybe it's not appropriate for, but generally speaking, battle ropes are for you. So let's talk about the structure. What are battle ropes and how do we set them up? So essentially a battle rope is just a long, thick rope that's anchored at one point, and you stand opposite of the anchor point with the two free ends, and you're going to move the ropes around to create tension for your body, okay? So, typically speaking, you're gonna find battle ropes in most fitness centers. What you're gonna find on average is a 50-foot rope, okay? And when you wrap it around the anchor point, it's gonna cut that in half, so you've got two 25-foot rope lengths. That can shorten or lengthen sometimes depending on the space that you have. You can buy a 50-foot rope, a 40 or a 30. You can find them a little bit smaller than that as well. Um, anything too short, and as you move the rope, it'll start to snap back at you a little bit. It'll start to reverb back down the rope and can cause a little bit of trouble. So we like to look at, the, at a little bit longer rope. Also, the thickness of the rope, the material, those are some things that we can talk about today as well. Most of you watching this video are probably not in the market for investing in your own battle rope, but if you are, do a little bit of research on the type of material that you're looking for. Some of them are designed to be indoor, some of them outdoor, so it just kind of depends on what you are looking for. The other main thing that you want to think about is the thickness of the rope, okay? So we have the length, Okay, and generally speaking, I recommend a little bit longer rope. You're gonna get more fluidity with the movement. But the thickness of the rope can really make a difference, okay? So these ropes that we have here in our fitness center, um, these are a little bit lighter ropes. They're about an inch and a half in diameter, which is um, the lighter side. They can go up to two inches in diameter and even two and a half. Okay, so the thicker the rope, the heavier it's gonna be, the more resistance it's gonna give you. So think about it this way. The lighter the rope, the, or the thinner the rope, 
the more of kind of a cardiovascular effect you're gonna get. The thicker the rope, the more hand strength that you're gonna need, it's gonna turn into more of an aerobic activity. It's gonna be more um, strength building. Now certainly they, they both overlap tremendously. Okay, you can build a lot of strength with a thinner rope, you can get a lot of cardio with a thicker rope. But a thinner rope is gonna be a little bit more universal, it's gonna be a little bit better for most of the average battle rope users. So there's a quick recommendation for you. Making sure that it's at a good anchor point and making sure that you have a clear space to do this exercise. And that's one other benefit that I wanna to mention too. Battle ropes are very visually impaired friendly, right? You don't have to move all over the gym. Once you have your clear lane, once you have your space, you can do all kinds of fantastic exercises right in that same zone, okay? So we've talked a little bit about the benefits, talked a little bit about the structure, what battle ropes are. Let's go ahead and talk about a few techniques. I'm gonna give you guys some examples of some of the uh, exercises that you can do. And then, like I said, be sure to subscribe to the channel and watch for future videos coming in because there is so much you can do with battle ropes. And I think you guys are really gonna like some of the workouts that we're gonna put out. So when we talk about doing technique for these battle ropes, what is the best stance? What are we looking at doing? First of all, when you do battle ropes, the key is keeping your body in a good alignment, whatever exercise that might be. So let me give you an example. I'm facing the anchor point right now. I'm stepping forward a little bit. We don't want to have a lot of tension. If I back up and I'm pulling on these ropes and they're kind of coming off the ground before I even start, I'm putting too much tension in them. I want the ropes to be lax and loose. I want them laying on the ground. I've got one rope in each hand. I've got my palms facing towards each other and I'm standing up perfectly straight. Now here's a simple exercise that is very, very common to see. It's gonna be a double arm slam, okay? I'm going to squat down slightly, okay? I'm not going into a real low squat. I'm leaning forward just slightly, so I'm kind of in a ready stance. My feet are hip width, toes pointed forward. My back is very straight. I'm pulling my shoulder blades back. I've got my arms straight, kind of uh, hands down by my knees. You can have a little bit of a slight bend in your elbow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach my arms up real quick and then slam them back down. Reach up and slam them back down. So I'm slamming the rope into the ground, creating waves in the rope. So as I slam it down, it sends this big wave down the rope. That's where the resistance comes in. The rope is resisting my movement as I reach up and slam it down. And this whole time, I'm staying down in this squat position. I'm not coming up and standing straight up. I'm staying down in this squat. Just my arms are moving, okay? So this exercise is a great example of keeping good structure and good stance. Bad example of this, as I'm doing this, rounding out my back. Okay, so I'm leaning forward, I'm hunching forward, I'm letting my back kind of bulge out at the top. This is bad. As you're doing these battle ropes, if you're allowing your back to round out, you're gonna cause trouble in your spine. So sitting down, keeping your back straight, your chest out, your head up, keeping everything lined up nicely. Allowing your knees to buckle in, that's another mistake, right? We've talked about this in other workout videos. Check out some of my instructional videos on squats and other exercises. But as you come down, if your knees are not over top your ankles, if they're buckling in, you're gonna cause a twist and you're gonna put a lot of pressure on the ligaments and other soft tissue in your knee. Keep the knees lined up over your ankles, over your heels, okay? So just a couple of quick examples. When you do battle ropes, it's all about being strong, stable, and smooth, okay? This is true for almost any exercise that we're gonna talk about with battle ropes especially, because these ropes are gonna jerk you and pull you around. They're gonna create a lot of resistance, and that's where your body builds so much strength. You hold still in those areas that need to be still while doing the battle ropes, and you're gonna build up a lot of strength that way, okay? So, let's talk about a couple exercise examples, and it'll be very simple from here. You guys will just have to watch out for the ex exercise workout videos coming out. But, a few other examples. We can squat down in that ready position. We can do an alternating movement. So instead of slamming both arms up and down, I can alternate. This one can be kind of a quick, um, medium 
level movement. So instead of bringing my arms all the way up and down, I can out here, I can just kind of pulse right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm still in my squat position. My back is straight, my head is up. Nothing is moving except my arms. I'm just alternating left, right, left, right. Making like little fast waves with the rope. I can also start adding in some leg movement. So for now, I've been keeping my legs still. I'm kind of in a, a like a mini squat, a half squat. I can start adding in a leg movement. So I can do that double arm slam and I can start adding in a deep squat. Okay, so I'm down, I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna stand up, bring it up, squat down and slam, squat down and slam, squat down and slam. So I'm adding in some leg movement to it now. Lots and lots of variations. We can start working laterally, okay? Here's another one. So that's a, a slam squat movement with the ropes. Here's another option. I'm gonna squat down. My elbows are at my side now, okay? Mini squat, elbows are at my side. And I'm gonna bring my hands together, then bring them open. Bring my hands together, bring them open. So my elbows are staying right by my ribs. This is an internal, external rotation of my shoulders. These are called snakes, right? So the ropes stay on the ground as I bring my hands in and out. Elbows stay by my side. And the, the ropes are on the ground just kind of slithering back and forth as I'm down in my squat. I can challenge myself a little bit more by squatting down nice and low and doing this exercise. So now I'm working my legs a little bit more as I rotate my hands in and out, they stay facing towards each other, but that's gonna work on strengthening my shoulders and my rotator cuffs. Tons and tons and tons of options. In the end, guys, battle ropes, like most very effective fitness equipment, is, it's very simple. I mean, this is really what we use here. It's probably a big length of rope that we bought at Home Depot down the street, right? It's very simple, but when you mix it into your workout routine, when you focus on your technique and you're doing it correctly, this can create a fantastic routine for you that will help drive up your fitness. It'll challenge your cardiovascular, it'll challenge your core, your strength, everything all in one shot, okay? So we're gonna stop there. We're gonna finish it with that, but again, subscribe. Follow my channel, like it and comment on this video. If you learned something, post in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know because I want you guys to learn. I want you to grow. Join the communities that we're creating for this and share this information out. And look for future workouts to come out just for these battle ropes. I promise you, it'll challenge you. It'll make you better. So from Revision Training, let's change the way we look at it. You guys make it a strong day.